what is up guys lamin from lamin tech here and in today's video i'm going to be taking apart my dell inspiron 3000 33015 to be exact so what am i going to be turning it down for well my current configuration if we go into the system specs is a ryzen 5 3500u 8 gigabytes of ram and if we switch over we have a 256 gigabyte SSD. Now, the CPU on this laptop, unlike my old laptop, is non-upgradable. So, so far, what can we upgrade from this laptop? So, well, from what I've heard and seen, the SSD is upgradable. There's even space for you to put a hard drive in. And there's only one stick of 8 gig DDR4 memory. So, what I'm going to be doing with this... Is I'm going to be putting another 8 gigabytes DDR4 2400 megahertz RAM stick inside. I got this from CX for £12. It says £13, but I got it for £12. On top of that, I'll be upgrading my 256 gigabyte M.2 SSD to a 500 gigabyte Samsung 980 M.2 SSD. This is on sale right now. It was about 60 quid, but nowadays shops such as uh curries and argos are selling this for about 40 pounds i got mine for i think 42.99 something like that and i will also be putting a one terabyte hard drive this is from my old laptop i've got a lot of important documents and stuff on there so yeah so without any further ado let us begin so looking at the screws it seems like we will be needing to use a phillips screwdriver so there are one two three four five six seven eight screws holding down the bottom of this laptop so without any further ado let us begin taking that apart the laptop okay so now that we have removed majority of them some of them are still like this one this one and this one do not want to come out no never mind this bottom one came out but what about these two do i have to unscrew a bit more no so the top bit is already popping up for me so from there on we just pry the rest of the device carefully okay and as you can see we are in the laptop so the first upgrade i'll be doing is the eight gigabytes of ram so as you can see one stick of eight gigabytes 2400 megahertz or 3200 it seems like of eight gigabytes vra i mean of ram i will now be upgrading that to 16 gigabytes so i will first begin by getting my eight gig my other eight gig ram stick in out and we are going to be putting it so as you can see it's inside what i will quickly do is i will turn on the laptop and see if it accepts the new 32 well the new 8 gig ram stick so as you guys can see memory change we have to click continue because it is now a memory change okay we'll let it boot into windows okay now that we are in windows system information and as you can see 16.0 gigabytes of ram so we have successfully upgraded the ram okay so now that the ram has been sorted out our second go to upgrade will be the hard drive so all you need is the same phillips screwdriver and you take off the four screws holding in the caddy for the hard drive now, I am not too sure, but I don't think every Inspiron will come with a hard drive caddy and cable. So now all I have to do is take the tape off of this. So now that the SATA is faced like this, my hard drive will also have to be faced like this. So the motherboard of the hard drive facing up. Oh, cool. It even comes with screws. I had my screws ready, but I guess I won't be needing those anymore. So now all you got to do is, uh, I don't really know how this works. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to peel up on the tape. 
and as you guys can see the four screws are there to access so all i gotta do is just pinch them out and now the green bit facing this way and the four screws that it comes with we'll be using it to put it here so i'll be putting the first one here and screwing that into okay so i would like to put this second tape you don't have to do this but i just want to put the tapes on so now all you have to do now is connect the hard drive like so and place the hard drive into place okay now that we have the hard drive installed we are going to again turn on the laptop and make sure that it detects the hard drive Okay, now I will open File Explorer. And nice, all the drives from my one terabyte hard drive now appear. Now for the last and final upgrade, which is the M.2 SSD. The same Phillips screwdriver. We will remove the screw holding down this plate, or I believe I will need a smaller. Right now you lift up the cover and as you can see we have a mini M.2 so now we can open up our brand new M.2 SSD boxed and wow there you go gently plug it in and I believe it seems like you will also need this cover yeah so you see there will be two latches that it goes under and nope to stay on the safe side i will not apply this i don't think you have to guys maybe because that other ssd was smaller so to stay on the safe side i will not be attempting that okay and now we will boot it up to the bios and check if the bios detects the M.2 SSD. I'll be pressing the F2 key to go to the BIOS. And as you can see, Samsung SSD 980, 500 gigabytes. Okay, so now that we have completed all the available upgrades to this laptop, we will now take our cover and all we have to do is just clip it back into place. And there we have it guys, that is the upgrades, all the upgrades that I wanted to do done to my brand new Dell Inspiron 15 3000, to be precise, 3315. Hope you guys enjoyed, I hope this, guy, this helped you guys, for those who are thinking of upgrading their Dell Inspiron, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.